let us start our discussion with a cup of coffee previously we discussed improper integral that means an integral which has the limit at least one limit is infinity either minus infinity to, to plus infinity or zero to infinity or something like that we have elaborately calculated some integrals with the help of python programming today i want to discuss something more i want to discuss a special type of integral rather i want to discuss a special integral what is that this is the integral integral zero to infinity sine x squared dx i must thank professor obhijit korgutto for suggesting this problem and helping to solve this problem using python coding let us start our discussion to solve this integration why it is difficult why this integration is difficult it has a simple structure see we have previously done this type of integral we have previously solved this kind of integrals integral 0 to infinity find x squared dx instead of x squared if i put find x dx then it's easy to solve but once it is sign x square then the problem becomes more difficult actually it has an exact solution the solution of this integral is square root of pi by 8 that means it is basically 0 0.626 Five seven zero six etc etc. One, if you are interested to solve it analytically, you can go through the solution of using complex integrals, and there is a solution. You can find it uh, in YouTube also. So the exact solution of this integral is square root of pi by 8 but what's wrong with this function sin x square you have to understand what is exactly the problem once you want to solve this integral numerically the problem begins because the function is highly nonlinear and you have to be very careful while using the limit zero to infinity actually infinity i i told you that uh, infinity is uh, a number whatever you imagine it is greater than that and you can implement infinity in your python programming that means if you import numpy module that is a function np.inf which will give you the infinity value and in my previous class i have shown you that uh, whatever be the number infinity is greater than that hope you understood so the question is will it be possible to find a solution of this integral using that I mean, straight away, can you solve this? The answer is no. That's why we are interested. That's why we are interested in this integral. So let us strategically solve this problem. How? Once again, see the integration form. 
see the integral it is 0 to infinity sin x square dx it has an exact solution you can solve it by complex integral method and the value is square root of pi by 8 actual numerical value is actually 0 0.626 almost uh, it is uh, about uh, 0 0.63 or something like that so let us come to the solution so why why uh, this integral is uh, so so uh, um, important that is a basic thing that if you plot this function if you plot this function you just see what happens here we have imported numpy module we have imported uh, scipy module to use uh, sims function and uh, you know this this uh, function uses simpson's rule uh, we have imported matplotlib library and now we have defined the function lambda x which is sin x square and now i have uh, created an empty list known as i here it will be used later and we have defined a range of values known as l starting from say not exactly zero starting from uh, very close to zero say 0 0.1 0 0.1 to say 10 in steps 0.1 so let's see the nature of the function what we will get is like that see the nature of the function this is highly nonlinear highly nonlinear and and uh, uh, if you want to calculate the value of this integration you will get different value at different times you will get different value at different times that is very interesting if you want to calculate the integration from 0 to 10 you will get a value which will differ if you if you calculate the value of the integral from 0 to 20 it will differ again if you take the value of the integral from 0 to 30 and so on and so on so every time the value changes every time the value changes so how can one get the actual value that's why this type of integration is more tough than the normal one we have to uh, manage it somehow we have to manage it somehow so just implement some special technique very easy technique you will get the idea that how to calculate this kind of uh, integration that means how how to tackle this type of problems so let us start uh, to solve this type of problem so i have the idea now uh, how the function looks like that means how the function sine x square looks like we see uh, here that the function is highly nonlinear the function is highly nonlinear and for different values of uh, integration limit it will give you different values of the integration which is not expected so we want to find the root we want to find the value of the integral in a special way so how can we do that let us start the discussion and uh, let us uh, comment out 
this uh, line we don't need it and uh, let us uh, extend the range say 0 to 100 and calculate it using sims function what we do here is that for every l we are calculating the integration for every l we are calculating the integration and we are appending that integration value in this okay so up to that sorry how it looks like what do we do we have the range of l values we have the range of l values that is uh, from minus sorry, from 0.1 to 100 in steps 0.1 and uh, for each l for each l we calculate the integral and append it to that list <coughs> i using sims function now let us plot this function rather now let us plot the least i where we have stored lots of values of the integration how many integrations we have done we have done this 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 we have done 10000 integral so that answers are appended that answers are appended in this list i let us plot the integral i with each value of l and let us see how it looks like so yeah see what happens see what happens the solution is always fluctuating see this is the solution the solution is fluctuating for every value of l if you take the range 0 to 10 for each value of l it gives it returns different values of the integral so we have plotted up to 100 for l equals 100 and uh, the solution uh, is fluctuating later the fluctuation becomes small but still here are fluctuations so what to do what is the way out just take the average but if you take the average of all you will get you may get some erroneous result because here the fluctuation is greater so just just uh, leave that part where the fluctuation is large and take the rest part of that where the fluctuation is small where the fluctuation is small yeah fluctuation is small and take the average of that so let's see what we get okay so um, see one thing you see that it is around 0.63 the, the solution is around 0.63 okay the solution is around 0.63 so we are approaching towards the right direction okay but we have to take average of that um mm -hmm. okay no this is not necessary 
and uh, here we are taking mean excluding first 500 values we have 10000 values so just omit uh, just delete first 500 values and take the average of the rest of the values and then print the values what we get is uh, ah, this one this one this one 0 0.626 0 0.6266 and just to recall just recall the result 0 0.6266 up to four decimal 62665 okay so uh, up to four decimal it's okay you can uh, even uh, increase its accuracy take more averages take more range so finally we have found out a way in which you can calculate this kind of non uh, this kind of highly oscillating highly nonlinear uh, functions integration of this kind of highly uh, nonlinear functions so just do it at home uh, do it by yourself and uh, choose uh, different uh, examples and try it hope you understand <clears throat> so one thing you have to do is that first you have to plot the function to understand the nature of the function then so this is the nature of the function then you calculate the function integration and plot for different uh, ranges because uh, taking uh, infinite limit is basically meaningless uh, as we uh, discussed earlier so finally to take averages of large number of these integration values this is the key to understand and solve this type of problems so you can do one thing what uh, i haven't done actually i have done but not explicitly you take a single limit say 0 to 5 or 0 to 10 or 0 to 20 and take the value of and and find the value of integration and see how it oscillates graphically uh, i have shown these oscillations at a time for all values but in individually you can calculate the integral for different limits and see how the value changes so this is a fantastic example to solve this kind of uh, highly nonlinear uh, integral hope you understand Thank you.